Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. Recently, Guardian's data blog, that is this website, guardian.co.uk data blog, they have published world education rankings. The objective of this uh, rankings is that they have conducted some kind of study and in 65 countries. Uh, and then what they have found is how much scores each country has for reading math and science and some kind of correlation for example you can see that south korea has you know top spot in reading math but third in science and this is only for oecd but the total data set had 65 countries some of those countries that are not included are like china and a few other countries so this was one visualization where you could quickly scan uh, for example if you are from finland you could see that you know your country is second in two and it is first in the science, science front so you could very quickly scan this is also a heat map kind of thing where they have put green to red scale at the bottom depending on the scores so you could clearly see the heat of your scores and they have highlighted uk because guardian being a us uk website they wanted to highlight how uk is faring and you can clearly see that UK is far better in science than other two things with respect to scores. Now this is a nice visualization but it is also a bit confusing. It doesn't uh, communicate well, at least that's what few other bloggers thought. So Kaiser Funk, uh, who writes this uh, junk charts blog, he uh, took up this uh, thing and he made a couple of charts. So this is what he said and then he said, uh, the most noticeable features are like so what he tried to do was he took this data and then he kind of segmented the countries into a couple of groups seven groups to be precise and then he made this chart now I have no idea how to read this chart after reading his post also I felt a little confused and I think few of the commenters on his blog also even he recommended this kind of chart but then if you look at it, John Peltier says, uh, is reasonable, blah, blah, blah. And then this lady says, um, you know, it is difficult to read the new chart that you suggested. So what he did was he did a follow up article in which he uh, explained this chart, but he also suggested a scatter plot matrix. But again, he says this is not a good fit. The only thing this scatter plot suggests is that the countries um, have high correlation so if you are performing well in one sub one thing and chances are highly likely that you're performing well in the other two also so the correlation is there again it's not casuation it's just correlation and the heat map is still retained so you can see the blue countries are low and red countries are the highest but again it doesn't uh, really bring out the richness or diversity of the data so what i thought was it would be fun to do my own visualization so i made one world education rankings chart I'm not saying this is good or bad it is just another attempt to skin this data and see how it looks and i'm also throwing this as a challenge or homework to you so you can get this data and uh, visualize it on your own but before dumping into that uh, i'll spend a couple of minutes explaining how this chart is constructed if you are not curious to learn you can skip now and uh, go to this page chendu.org slash wp slash 2010-1220 that is today's date December 20th 2010 slash world education rankings visualization okay so you can go there and you can find the challenge homework assignment and then work on it for the rest of you who are with me let me just very quickly explain how this chart is constructed before that I think we should demonstrate this chart so I collapse it to the ribbon by double clicking on the home tab we can't still view everything so I'm just going to turn off uh, maybe formula bar should be there but the headings I will turn off okay so now we have more screen real estate and let me just very quickly show how this chart is constructed so the three bars are there this is nothing but a scatter chart what I have done is put three lines showing the distribution of all the scores 65 scores in each area and then the average score is highlighted with a line so that is average and then you can compare any four countries so what I did was I pre-selected some countries but let us just delete them 
So now you have uh, Shanghai, China, which is the topmost country according to these scores. It is not part of OECD. That's why you don't see that in the Guardian's website visualization. So Shanghai, China is there. You can select a country. So let us select uh, Finland and you can see how Finland fares. So each country has one color. So country one is red, country two is green. Country three, if you select it, let us say Singapore, it will be orange country four will be blue so you can have four countries up to and you can compare and based on the selection I show some text summaries below saying that Shanghai China ranks number one in reading number one in math and number one in science out of 65 countries similarly on the average side I show some text description saying out of 65 countries 26 are better in reading 24 are better in math 23 are better in science than average so you can visually see the distribution of scores from 300, roughly 320, 350, all the way up to 600 in some cases. And where the countries scatter, they seem to have a lot of density here around the average and some cases here also. So that kind of interesting insights can be found out. And you can also compare your own country with some other country. Usually when we have such data, the requirements are twofold. One is comparison, compare between two countries and second is distribution. See how the scores are distributed. So these two needs are met by this chart and I find it quite intuitive and useful. I'm not saying this is the best, but this is one alternative and it looks good to me. Let me also show you very quickly how I constructed this chart. So this is the data from column A through E is what I downloaded from the Guardian site. If you go to the Guardian website, you can see this uh, download the full spreadsheet. It opens in uh, Google Docs and you can get the data. I think it's even pasted down here so you can even copy it right away. Okay, so that once you have the data, what I did was I added three dummy columns, one, two, three, just dummy numbers, right? Because as you can see, this is nothing but a scatter chart. So these are X values and uh, reading has one, math has two and science has three. So those, that is what dummy corresponds to. And then what I did is, uh, and then I made a scatter chart out of this series. This, this, and then this. Remember the top row is the average, so you have to exclude that. And once I did that, I have created a list uh, for these countries. So if you select this, you can see that this is called as elastic countries. It's a named range. And then I used that for the data validation here. So this is actually a data validation. So let us just have the ribbon on. So it's easy for us to see some of these things. And then what I did is I linked these four cells to these four cells. So if you look at it, they are references to visualization C, E, G, and I. And then based on the country selection, I'm showing the scores corresponding to it. Again, we have dummies here. And I think now you already have bits and pieces of puzzle falling into place. The scatter chart is there. And these four countries are nothing but four different series. So is average. So there are five series, actually five sets of series, one for all the countries, uh, one for average, one for each of the four countries selected. So six actually, not five. And then what I did is I, unfortunately the scatter chart does not let you have labels like this. So I added another series called label series. And these are basically 301, 302, 303 indicating these points 301 302 303 300 is the x coordinate and one is the y coordinate remember the range has values ranging roughly from 300 all the way up to 600 so there is no point showing the 0 to 300 here it's not a bar chart or a column chart so i fixed this axis range from 300 to 600 and then what i did is i manually set the labels to these three math science and reading so now we have labels here to compensate the missing axis features in Excel. Uh, if you don't understand, don't bother because it's not something that you would worry about unless you come across that problem. And then what I did is I created these messages based on the country selected. So for the country Shanghai chain, I just looked at this score and then found out its rank among the all the scores using the rank formula. So rank of L3 in this range. 
okay c4 through c6 c68 and then i repeat the process for the average it is not easy to find the rank because averages are not actual scores they are average scores so it is unlikely that it is possible that the average score may not belong to any one country but it could be just an arbitrary value for example 493 is there but no one country has a score 493 there are 495s and 494s and then 489s so rank formula will fail in that case so that's why i use it the count if i'm just counting all the values in the range c4 to c68 that are greater than l7 l7 is the average value so that's pretty much it then i created these messages the only funny thing that i did is not funny but smart thing is if there is a country is blank if you go back to here you will get a bunch of hash nas so i used the hash nas to actually create any you know this box has two purposes if a country is selected it shows the summary otherwise it acts up as a message box indicating that this is where you would select the country so that i have used the if error formula so if this cell k column k has an error then what we do is i'm just showing this up arrow symbol with a couple of line breaks that is char 10 and then saying that please select a country so this helps users that if there is a blank then they know that this is where the country has to be selected so if it is like this you know then you can select the country these dots are nothing but uh, equal to symbol in the web dings font equal to symbol is nothing but a big circle and if it is if the country is not selected i'm not showing the dot because it's useless to have the legend when, when the series itself is absent rest all is pretty much simple adding the data labels and you know nicely formatting the chart and having the these things because the axis is also not, not available having these grid lines is not possible so what i did is i added these grid lines as error bars if you go here to the layout you can see this math label x error bars okay you can go ahead and download this particular excel workbook also from the same url http://chendu.org/wp today's date in year month date format 2010-12-20 then world education rankings visualization or you just go to http://chendu.org/wp and download the latest uh, see one of the latest posts it's likely that this would be on top uh, i find this chart as i said pretty intuitive and useful to understand how the countries perform also visually compare one country with another without uh, looking at a complicated thing like this where there are a lot of colors and a lot of lines flowing from one place to another now i encourage you to go ahead and download this workbook examine these charts as well as make your own chart uh, visualizing this kind of data how would you go about it so go ahead and make that and if you come up with some nice something uh, some chart please share your work through comments i would like to say take a look at what you can come up with and learn from you thank you very much and you have a great day bye bye